In the beginning, there was nothing. Endless expanses of emptiness as far as reality could stretch. And then, in a billionth of a billionth of a nanosecond, everything we know came into existence. A magnificent, spiraling expanse of chaos and wonder. A boundless, untold potential. Trillions of little miracles of science happening everywhere, all at once. And in the middle of it all, on this little rock we call Earth, came the birth of something incredible. Life. As time passed, life grew. In the blink of four billion years, life became stronger, faster, and most importantly, smarter. For life's pinnacle moment was the formation of this universe's greatest miracle yet, the human brain. A vessel capable of finally and truly comprehending all of this wonderful existence all around it, and all the questions that this awareness brought. Why are we here? What is the meaning of life? Is there a god, or is this all some convenient accident? Are we alone? But in this video, right here, right now, we will answer humanity's greatest question. The searing enigma. The impossible theorem. The question we as a species have been contemplating since the very beginning. Why? It's been a decade and a half since Waluigi first appeared in Mario Tennis, and to this day, not a sane mind alive knows what to make of this gangly monstrosity. Luckily, I crossed the bounds of madness long ago, so let's see if I can properly frame what exactly the point of this character is. First off, what's in a name? Well, in Japanese, Ruigi is a word meaning similar. It was an in-joke at Nintendo referencing the fact that Luigi's sprites back in the day were always just Mario's sprites with a different color. Meanwhile, Watui is a word meaning bad, so Waruigi is just a portmanteau that means bad Luigi. His very namesake is a pun, a joke, and I think it's this that serves as a pretty accurate nutshell of what this character's purpose is. To make you laugh. He has limbs that could clean a clog out of your sink. He owns a pinball machine the size of downtown Detroit. He's apparently so evil that his mustache turned upwards to escape from the heinous crimes he had committed. And yet we still see him dancing like a maniac on a professional golf course whenever he does well. Waluigi could very well be an alien he stands out so dramatically from the rest of the people around him, but I'm convinced that's 100% intentional on Nintendo's part. Waluigi is supposed to be an anomaly in the Mario universe. He's supposed to feel like he doesn't fit, because that just makes him easier to poke fun at. We find him awesome because there's simply no one else like him in the Mushroom Kingdom. He does what he wants and he doesn't care what anybody thinks about him. So in that sense, it might seem counterproductive to glorify the games where he plays a bigger role. But as I've said in my new Rants series, no concept is worthless in the right hands, and Waluigi serves as living proof. So hey, I'm with the FNU, and this is Team Pizza's top three games where Waluigi actually matters. Number three. You gotta hand it to the big end. For all the flack they get about being a kitty company, they don't half-ass anything. Even their silly little side games have tons of love poured into them. And when it was announced that they were working on games with Square Enix again, you can bet people got excited. Just think of all the possibilities. Super Mario RPG 2, Final Fantasy on the Wii, Fortune Street. Yeah, obviously none of our wildest dreams ever came to fruition from this partnership, but it's not like what we did get was bad. In fact, Mario Sports Mix is one of the most solid games about athletic activities they've ever made. So why are we talking about it? The cast here is just another character collection, right? There's no way Waluigi can matter, right? Wrong. He is the only character that matters in this game. I had no idea Waluigi was an inhuman dodgeball terminator until I played Mario Sports Mix. 
He is god tier. Not only does he have the most well-balanced stats of any character for any of the sports, but his specials are ludicrously broken, even putting the bosses to shame. This man carves a bloody, crater-laden path through every tournament he competes in. You may as well just be automatically given the trophy if you do choose to command his kind of power yourself. The only downside to playing as Waluigi is that it's like turning on easy mode, which makes an otherwise awesome game maybe more boring and effortless than it should be. Still, you can't argue with results, and in Mario Sports Mix, that is exactly what Waluigi will get you. Number 2 Oh man. I want to talk about this game in detail so badly, but I'm saving it for an episode of RTGs. Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix is an extremely dumb concept for a game, but what saves it is that it knows it's dumb. You get the definite impression that the people behind this project just threw up their hands and went, you know what? Let's have some fun with this. What ideas are stupid enough to be funny that we can still sneak past the Nintendo seal of approval? I'll tell you one. Make Waluigi the main bad guy. And oh, what plans this bad guy has. His goal is to steal the ancient music keys, without which the world will fall into chaos and dissonance. Then he will, and I'm quoting this verbatim, hypnotize the rhythmless masses with my moves. You can almost hear his mustache being twirled. And thus, the good old-fashioned villainy begins. He'll taunt you from afar, throw you off course, and even lob bombs at you when you finally get to his boss battle. Interestingly enough, he is not the final boss of the game, but he is the one who set this entire adventure in motion, which means he played an invaluable role in one of the most unintentionally hilarious games I've played recently. Aw, cheer up, man. At least you'll always have pinball. It's number one! Yeah, okay, I know it's not official, but I never would have forgiven myself if I hadn't included this here. Psycho Waluigi isn't just one of the best titles MFGG has ever put out, it's one of the best fan games ever made. The psychic power mechanic it introduces both builds on traditional Mario elements like platforming and power-ups, and still manages to feel unique in its own right. It has tons of intricately designed levels full of beautiful sprite work, hidden secrets, and an impeccable difficulty curve. Not to mention just about every level introduces a new mechanic, and tasks you to use your powers in a different way. Thunder Dragon knew exactly what he was doing when he made this game, to the point where you'd think he actually worked for Nintendo at one point. I love how you can use your enemies' powers against them. I love how natural it feels to pick up objects and fling them at the world around you. I love how the rest of the cast is so wacky that even a mental case like Waluigi fits right in. And I love how it turns the typical platformer on its head by making you the antagonist, overthrowing the castles instead of liberating them. Games like this are proof positive that in this day and age, we don't need to wait for the big guys to make games we can love. That a side project by one passionate dude can satisfy us just as much as something created by a professional team. Hell, I could make a top 8 just out of the best fan games on the market right now. That's why... Huh could do that, couldn't I? Hey everybody, sorry this list was a little shorter than usual. I'm also working on my sister's wedding video right now, and yeah, that kind of takes priority. But if you're new here and want to see the full force of my work, why don't you click this annotation to see my top 8 Wario games. We're also playing Psycho Waluigi over on our gameplay channel right now, so if you want a more complete look at the game in motion, give that a shot. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter by clicking the links in the description below, and I'll promise not to flood your inbox with totally worthless crap, just mostly worthless. And be sure to subscribe so you can catch all the new countdowns I release every single weekend. Until then, I'm What the Fnew. Later, everybody!